Hi everyone and welcome back to Paper Scissors Wool. It has been a hot minute since I have uploaded a video, uh, but a new milligram store opened up here in Adelaide. So I thought now is a great time to get back into it. Um, so the new store opened on Rundle Mall on Friday and I had a few things to do that day. So I actually took the day off work knowing that I wanted to spend as much time as possible, like just enjoying myself in the new shop. Um, so as a part of the like grand opening, they did, um, they were giving out $50 vouchers to the first 50 people who, um, who arrived at the store. Now, obviously I suspected that that would mean arriving early. So even though they had posted that it would be opening at 10 a.m. I knew that people would be queuing up before that. Um, I, however, was not willing to get there super early, so I actually missed out on one of the $50 vouchers, but that's fine. I was still excited about the new store opening up and being able to shop all the pretty things. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I bought. So to start off with, I bought one of these um, Delphonics inner carry pouches, or they're calling it a utility pouch. Um, I've had my eye on this for like actual years, years and years and years, and I keep meaning to buy one. And like I've even, I've even gone to different websites and put the bag in my shopping cart and been ready to like put my like payment details in and all of that. And for some reason, I've always stopped myself at the last minute because I own a heck of a lot of bags, like so many bags, and I keep buying more, more inner carry bags and stationary bags and knitting bags and all sorts of bags. And I kept feeling like I couldn't justify buying this one. But then when I saw they had the nice blue in store, like, why not? I, I decided to go for it. I've not stopped wanting one of these bags in all the years that I've stopped myself from buying it. Um, and I love it already. Like <laughs> it's got all of the pockets, which I knew I wanted. I knew I would love that. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad I finally splurged and bought that. Um, I'm also excited. It has the little, um, it has these little loops on either side where I think I could probably attach if I want to, if I decide that's the way I want to go, I could attach a strap and then kind of use it as an outer bag if needed, if when traveling and sort of, um, those sorts of situations. Um, so that was the first thing I bought. Uh, the second thing I bought, you can see right here, <laughs> second and third actually. Um, so after, after again, years of thinking, no, I don't want a Lamy, um, I decided to just, to just buy one. Um, I've got the Lamy AL, no, what is this one? The All-Star. I was about to call it the Quaco, Quaco AL <laughs> Sport, but no, that's, that's that one. Um, so this is the Lamy All-Star in, um, what did they say it was? Tourmalin color, I think it is. Um, you can see that it's a very similar color to the Kaweco collection that I recently purchased as well. Um, but with this pen, the Kaweco, um, the Kaweco collection AL Sport, I knew that when I knew when I was buying it that it was a shorter body and I thought maybe maybe I would enjoy that I would try it out I don't like it it's too short so that's one reason I wanted to go with a new pen um, I think one of the reasons I've been avoiding Lamy is because they do have the sort of finger grooves on the top that um, with the Kaweco Perkeo there's one on the bottom as well, which really hurts this finger, my middle finger. Um, but I didn't realize that the Lammies, even though they have the grooves on top, they're only on top, they're not on the bottom. So actually that's nice and smooth and round on my lower finger. Um, so maybe I will enjoy that a bit more. Um, I also bought a converter for the ink and I've gone ahead and filled that up with some ink that I'll show you in a little while. Uh, and I bought it in a fine nib. Um, that's what the uh, Kaweco collection one is as well, is a fine nib. Uh, with the Perkeo, I bought a medium nib and I do enjoy like the juiciness of it for long form journaling, but for my daily bullet journaling, I think I like uh, a finer nib. I think I like a little bit less ink um, on the page essentially. All right, opening it up inside, I bought another item that I've had my eye on 
four years. Um, and that is the Moleskin Traveler's Journal. And that's part of the, I think they're the passion, the yeah, passion notebooks collection. Um, so that's a bit of a higher end than the other moleskin um, travel journal they have a couple um one's a more a lower price point i guess um and this is the this is the nicer passions one that comes in its own box and um i think it's hardcover which their other one is as well but um so i'm excited to get that opened up maybe in another video and have a look at what's inside um, i've been really interested in seeing how different companies do different travel journals um, so I'll have a look at that later. Um, but yeah, decided to go ahead and, and splurge on that one. While I was queuing, and the queues were very long in the morning <laughs> because there were a lot of people, a lot of stationary lovers who were very excited to be in the shop. Um, while I was queuing, I remembered that I, we passed the, the traveler's um, company items. And I remembered that I... Um, bought a traveler's notebook a couple maybe a year ago um a year and a half i don't even remember now to be honest but um i bought the special edition what is it the traveler's hotel hold on there she is the traveler's hotel notebook um i haven't really gotten into using it that much because i love a5 journals and um i don't know this this isn't really my style. Um, I also love bullet journaling and I don't really need the separate journals necessarily to do that, but um, I still wanted to use it maybe for a couple things. I, th I thought I might use it basically. Um, and what I did with it was I ended up going on to Etsy and I knew that I wanted to put a lot of inserts in there. You can see there's quite a few. Um, so I went on to Etsy and bought some like cheaper elastics to use as jump bands and i kind of regretted that decision I, it, it, they aren't they aren't the best substitution so i thought i would go ahead and buy the official travelers company jump bands and see if those maybe work a bit better i might remove some of the inserts i don't need to be carrying around this much and then see if maybe that makes me use the notebook more or want to journal in it more for traveling or for something else entirely so the other thing that i purchased was this uh cocky mori uh, ink sampler set two. So it has the colors six through 10 of, the, of their, their inks, I guess. Um, and so, yeah, I thought these, I saw these on display while I was waiting for the queue to die down a bit. And I just thought they were the cutest thing. Um, such cute little bottles. I want to use them for something else. I don't know what, but, uh, so yeah, those for my fountain pen collection that is, that is slowly growing, um, and getting larger. And my husband keeps asking how big it's gonna get. Well, I don't know. You'll find out, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give those a test out in my notebook and, and, um, see the different colors there. So then with purchase, um, you got a free moleskin, sorry, I don't think you can see that but it is moleskin notebook that is milligram branded and then it, i believe it's a special edition for adelaide um the adelaide stores so it has these circles printed on the cover like debossed on the cover and then these two circles here you can see are a, well maybe you can't see that but they're a slightly different um a level of debossing and so they stand out a little bit in person um, and that's supposed to be reminiscent of the rundle mall there's a sculpture called the spheres but everyone knows it as the mall's balls um, and there are like memes and cards that you can buy that say Adelaide's got balls um, everyone loves these things but uh, so yeah it's a sculpture that is too large metal spheres stacked on top of each other um and it's sort of mirror like you're you're mirrored in it uh and it's yeah it's just fun i guess um so you got a free notebook as well now i did Im pretty much immediately start using it <laughs> so i had some other stuff that i was doing yesterday um after the shop and so yeah i put this notebook to literally immediate use um and and really liking it i mean it's um, it's a moleskin, it's lined, it doesn't have numbered pages, which like I do expect in a journal. 
Um, I expect, like I tend to only buy dot grid these days. Um, actually, that's not true. I bought a lined journal the other, the other month. Um, so I am buying them more and more as like more traditional journaling or um, information keeping sort of uh, notebooks. Um, yeah, so that is, I will definitely use that. Um, really enjoyed getting that. It's always nice to get a free gift with purchase. Now the other thing was if you did make a purchase then you could go, they had this like claw game that they put out on the mall um, and you could take your receipt and go um, try your hand at the claw game and it wasn't um, it wasn't like rigged or anything the way they do at carnivals or in public places. Um, it was, I, I, at least for me, I found it was pretty easy to get a, to get a, a prize. Um, so you got these little silver balls, um, and I, I, uh, caught one and what was inside was a little, um, a slip of paper that was worth a vouch, a $20 voucher for milligram. So yeah. That uh, was really exciting because I missed out. I wasn't willing to wake up early enough to get there for um, one of the $50 vouchers for the first 50 people. Um, but it was nice to then get a $20 voucher instead. So that's great. Um, so I had a really great time. Um, it was fun. It was pa packed, like crowded. You know, people were, you were getting nudged all over the place, especially if you wanted to look at the fountain pens. Um, but it's still, it was a good vibe. Um, there were a couple people who I think complained that they didn't get a voucher, which I thought was pretty cheeky. Uh, you like, it's first come first serve. That's literally how it was advertised. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that the staff enjoyed it because I think most of the customers did. Um, so yeah, that was my haul from Milligram. Uh, I then of course did wander down a couple shops to Kiki K because, you know, why not? Um, where I picked up some sale um, travel stickers. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Okay, so behind each um, uh, little ink sample, there's a different color, which presumably aligns with the colors that were sitting there. So that's quite cute. I like that as like a sampler um, to show what to expect, I guess. All right, I'm gonna make a total mess. Let's see how we go. Okay, apparently I wasn't recording. Whoops, <laughs> I do that a lot. Um, but I've tried out the first one here. So this is the Toppery, um, which is a beautiful like stormy blue. Oh my gosh, how beautiful are these colors? I am so excited about these. Um, all right, I still need to try writing with them, obviously, but oh, I love this one and this one. They look very similar. I'll have to um, experiment more. Maybe on camera, they're a little bit more different than in person. This one seems more of a lighter green and this one's more of an ocean blue, maybe, yeah. Um, but they are pretty close, it looks like. Um, I'm really surprised by this one. I kind of thought, looking at the little jar, that it was gonna be like a green, and I already have a couple greens. Um, as you can see, I have a Van Diemen's um, uh, fountain green that's a one-off, or, or 
not a one-off, sorry, a special edition for Pencraft here in Adelaide. Um, so it's based on the Adelaide um, Arcade Fountain. And then uh, I have this mint green and I have the Kuwaiko palm green, which I also really love. Um, so yeah, I didn't really necessarily need another green, but it's actually more of like a purplish brownish even that's a completely different color than i was expecting um but yeah i love it it's it's great <laughs> these are so beautiful also this one i wasn't expecting to be so dark yeah for some reason i thought it would be more of a a blue again as with the others but that's a gorgeous black um black ink um really beautiful i absolutely love them all right let's keep playing with them shall we All right, so there you have it, more or less. Um, I cannot wait to actually write with these. They are all really beautiful, but I especially love these first three. Um, I'm loving the Mukuri more than I would normally expect myself to like something that is in sort of the brown family, um, but it's kind of purpley and I like it. Um, yeah, I, it makes me want to use them all like at the same time, all right next to each other. And I'm beginning to understand why people buy 15 or 20 different fountain pens and have them all with different inks. Um, I don't wanna wait for one to run out before I can use another one. Uh, but that's just me being impatient. Um, and I guess, yeah, I guess I'm not alone in that. Uh, I'm really excited to use these. I'm really excited about the new things that I got and, and using all of the things that I got from Milligram. And I'm excited to go back in store and shop more with them. Thanks for watching my video and I'll try to uh, allow less time to pass before my next one. All right, see ya.